Hey, how's it going everyone? This is K Collections, and for this video, I will briefly break down the two new 3-star servants, Billy the Kid and Geronimo. Before I start, did anyone else felt a bit emotional during this chapter? I can't be the only one, right? No spoilers, but all the servants in this singularity was absolutely amazing, especially these two. By far one, the best chapters, hands down. But enough of me ranting, I know you're not here for that, so let's get started. So, starting off with Billy's attack cards, he has two quick, two arts, one buster, and a quick noble phantasm. For the hit counts, quick does two, which does limit his star generation. Arts does three, buster and extra does four, and NP does three hits. For his active skills, Marksmanship increases his critical strength for one turn, anywhere from 60% to an insane 120% depending on the skill level. This is one of Billy's key skills, so prioritize maxing this out first, not only to increase the effects of the skill, but to also lower the cooldown to 5, which means you can use this skill more frequently. His second skill is pretty straightforward. It increases his NP gauge by 30% upwards to 50% depending on the level. I personally love NP charging skill, so it's an excellent skill to have for any servant really. His last skill grants evasion for one turn while increasing his crit strength for three turns. Higher the skill level means higher the buff. Another excellent skill especially for Billy as he focuses on crit damage. Though it's specifically less of a buff compared to his first skill, this does last three whole turns. Typically you want to activate both crit buffs when you can perform a brave chain with a significant amount of stars with Billy to deal massive amounts of damage. If not, this skill can always help with survivability. He has two passives, first one being Independent Action A, which increases crit strength by 10%. A, that's an excellent skill for Billy, right? Like I mentioned, his main focus is crit damage. Second one is Riding C+, which increases quick card effectiveness by 7%. Again, very synergistic with his playstyle, specifically when you can perform a quick brave chain with him. Onwards to his Noble Phantasm, this is a single target MP that deals damage to the enemy while decreasing their crit chance for 3 turns. It also grants Billy an Ignore Evasion for a turn. It's very simple, but it gives you another form of offensive attack for him. If let's say you can't acquire enough stars for the turn, or let's say his skills are on cooldown, remember, his main focus is dealing massive amounts of crit damage, but in the turns he can't, this MP will give you another option of attack. So, my final thoughts on Billy the Kid, he isn't a complicated servant by any means, but he is a good one. His own combined skills can equal a massive crit buff, use it when he has enough stars and basically watch your enemies die. Like I said before, in the event when he can't perform a crit damage, then his MP can be used for the time being, not to mention he has pretty good MP charging skill as well. You can always quick brave chain with him, that's always an option as well. So, all his skills, including his passives, has great synergy with his playstyle. He also has an invasion skill to help him survive an enemy's MP attack. Overall, an excellent servant. Main focus, kill your enemies with his crit damage. Now, some weaknesses Billy has are his star generation, with only two quick attacks that deals two hits only. That is a bit lackluster, so you will need a star generator in your team. MP gain isn't the best either, with a relatively low MP charge per hit. And on the topic of attack cards, since he only has one buster, you can't really rely on buster crit damage often. Thankfully, he is an archer class, meaning his absorption for stars are really good. Just try not to have any team members who will compete with him in absorbing stars. For team compositions, just remember, if you don't have a specific servant, you can always use a friend support, but you'll definitely need a strong star generator. The typical Jack, Okita, MHX, Hassan will do. Of course, there are many more options. I do recommend Brynhildr, though she isn't the strongest star generator, let's say compared to Jack. She can still provide well enough. With her Hero's Sidekick skill, this gives you some control with star absorption for Billy, while also healing him. Her NP also grants your team an increase in star drop rate as well. Having a support that can buff Billy's crit damage even further will help. Waver is a good choice for obvious reasons. If not, then Anderson can help out as well. He can increase your party's crit damage for 3 turns, while potentially buffing Billy's attack and defense. Of course, can't forget about the healing. His third skill provides stars for 3 turns. Once you complete his interlude to unlock his NP upgrade, then Anderson can also provide an increase in star generation rate as well. 
CE recommendations, I highly recommend Holy Knight Sign. This works very well if you want to prioritize crit damage and quick performances. Now, if you think Absorbing Stars will be an issue, Teacher and I can work, especially because you can first turn MP if you max out Billy's second skill. Lastly, Imaginary Around can work if you want to focus on quick performances. There are, of course, many other options. I'd say experiment with them. Now, on to Geronimo. He has one quick, two arts, two buster, and an arts NP. For the hit count, quick and arts does two, buster does one, extra does four, and MP does one hit. For his active skills, I'll say this right now, they are absolutely amazing! If only they were targetable, or if it were a team buff. Sadly, this isn't the case. It's all a self buff which kind of sucks there. So basically, each skill increases the performance of a specific attack card for one turn. Now, like I already mentioned, if it were meant for the whole team or if it were targetable, that would have been truly great. Sadly, it's all only for himself. Such a selfish servant, isn't he? So, his arts buff would be his most useful skill as he does have three arts in total. It will be quite effective when performing an arts brave chain with his noble phantasm. The quick buff will have the least priority as he only has one. For passives, Territory Creation B works very well with him, increasing performance of his arts by 8%. Item construction won't really be utilized, but it's better than nothing. For his Noble Phantasm, it's an AoE that would damage your enemies while decreasing their crit chance for 3 turns. It also heals your team a bit and gives them an increase in debuff resistance. So this NP is pretty straightforward. It has a nice blend of effects, and with both an active and a passive skill that buffs his arts, it's obvious what his strengths are. Use this as an attack, especially for farming. Don't depend on the healing, it's more of a bonus instead of a priority. Overall thoughts on Geronimo? He's not that great, but he is a free servant, so <laughs> we can't really complain. As mentioned, his main focus is on arts, which leaves his other two active skills less effective. He does have a decent attack stat, especially for a caster, and having an AoE Noble Phantasm will definitely help with farming. He's a pretty straightforward servant, nothing too complex or anything. Aside from his NP, he doesn't offer anything to your team. And speaking of team, concentrate on building an arts team because that is what he focuses on. So a recommendation I would give is Tamamo, right? She can help for obvious reasons, arts chain, MP gain and HP recovery, helps with cooldown, most importantly, can buff his arts cards. Anderson can also work for more or less the same reasons. CE recommendations, I do recommend Formal Craft for arts focus, Kiss Your Hand if you want balance of all three attack types, and I would suggest Kaleidoscope just so you can use his MP as soon as possible. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button, and if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel. I'll be making more FGO videos. I did do a breakdown on Rama and Helena. I also did an overview for Maeve if you're interested. I do have a Twitter, so feel free to follow me if you like. Well, thank you for watching. As always, good luck on your polls, and have a wonderful day, everyone.